everybody. It's your favorite boxing analyst reporting live from the Department of Corrections. So listen, um, you guys know that I'm not big on these crossover fights. I'm, I don't like promoting these bullshit little circus events. The fucking Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather's, the Jake Paul or the Logan Pauls versus Floyd Mayweather's, the Jake Pauls versus Nate Diaz's and Anderson Silva's. I don't like these circus crossover fights. I never have, and I will never promote them. I just wanted to make a one quick video with regards to this because I'm adamantly against these circus fights, right? The, the reason being, one of the bigger reasons I'm against these fights is because it takes the attraction away from guys that actually deserve the attention, like Arthur Viterbiev and Dimitri Vukov, who just fought for the first undisputed heavyweight fight in, 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 in a number of years. You know, that should be getting this kind of praise, this, this kind of type of publicity, but it's not. Instead, it's a circus event between a YouTuber and an old man. But the reason I'm making a video about this this one is because I, of the amount of respect that I had for Mike Tyson, okay? And to me, these circus, you know, the shit that Jake and Logan Paul does, it's disrespectful to both sports with regards to MMA and boxing because what they're doing is taking old legends from both sports Holyfield Tyson you know Anderson Silva etc so forth and they're abused basically abusing old men for the almighty dollar and for abuse and for attention and for publicity you know so you're disrespecting legends of the game in both sports mixed martial arts and boxing for money and views and we all know that money is the root of the evil and I Money's the root of all people. And I have to say this again, as I've said for a number of years now, I'm not saying he was the first guy to do this, but Floyd's the one that broke broke the door open with all these dumbass crossover fights, him and Conor McGregor. They're the one that started this fucking trend. And it just goes to show you that he, he's been so damaging to the sport of boxing, it's, it's just unbelievable. And boxing, it's still trying to repair itself. From the amount of damage that Floyd made with his fucking pussy hoe ass cost to the sport. Um, you know, and we all know what the money's the root of all evil, and what's Floyd Mayweather's nickname? Uh, I'll wait. Floyd destroyed the sport, and, it's just, and this is just another example of why. Okay? Now, I want to say a couple of things about Jake Paul real quick. First of all, he's a bitch. He's a homosexual. He's, just, he's scared of a smack in the fucking mouth, and he's, on, he's juiced to the gills. You can tell. Every time Jake Paul gets punched in the fucking head, he doesn't like it. So if you don't like getting punched in the face, then don't box. Find another profession. It's that simple. And I will give the kid this small amount of credit that he does kind of learn. Uh, he's kind of learning how to box to an extent, you know, and he did somewhat take it, his craft a little bit more seriously with all the steroids and with all the professional help that comes with being a millionaire. He didn't have to start from scratch as most uh, boxing world champions do he had a you know he's privileged in other words but instead of being a man and fighting guys his own age his own size he likes to fight fight broken down 40 50 60 year old ufc fighters and old boxers you know tommy fury's fucking gay and he's also a bad a, a, a shit boxer but even he beat this fucking moron you know so and Tommy Fury's a fucking embarrassment. So just like his older brothers, not to an extent that his brother is, but, you know, who's just going to whip his brother's ass again in December? But I want to say this about Mike Tyson real quick. This is going to be my third, you know, this is the whole point of me making this video. Mike Tyson is one of the most revered fighters ever. He's one of the most famous athletes ever, period, in any sport. You know, some people kind of falter and have debated where his greatness rates. Um, some people think he's the greatest heavyweight of all time, which I think that's a little bit, a, a huge overstatement. He was certainly one of the most talented and had one of the most potentials. And then there's other people like more, more on the historian side of things that don't even have Mike Tyson ranked in the top 10 of all time, heavyweights that is. I think he falls more in between. You know, I, I don't think he's the, the greatest fucking heavyweight since sliced bread since you know but i i also do think that some people do like to downplay how great he really was and how dangerous and how much how skilled mike really was because wherever you rate his greatness there's only a handful of heavyweights that i think would have beaten tyson in this prime prime for prime you know uh, 
in a, in a head-to-head matchup, that is. But, look, man, he's fucking 60 years old. And if you guys watched the Roy Jones Jr. fight a couple of years ago, I thought he won that fight, to be honest with you, but he also gassed out in two or three rounds, okay? So I'm going to tell you this right now. If he doesn't get Jake Paul out there in the first three rounds, it's probably not going to be a good night for him. And it disgusts me that this fucking homosexual Jake Paul is going to be abusing a 60-year-old a sixty year old legend in the ring. That shit just makes me sick to my stomach. And the fact that people are even allowing this to take place makes me sick to my stomach. So for that reason alone, I hope Mike Tyson knocks the fuck out of this piece of shit. And, you know... I've always said this with regards to Mike Tyson. I appreciate and respect Mike, not only for his boxing, his boxing career, but for overcoming all the shit he had to overcome in life. You know, he was abused as a kid, you know, was from the fucking ghetto in New York, man. From, you know, being a, a sick-up kid and, a, and an adult little dope dealer, prison, drug, you know, he was, he was addicted to coke and crack and all that shit. And he overcame all of that, and I respect the man for that, even more so than his boxing career. You know, I respect the fact that he came to, overcame the streets and prison and drug addiction, and he found the light at the end of his tunnel. And now he's in a happy place in his life. He's got his podcast. He's got his weed that he's selling. He found himself a happy place, like Happy Gilmore. He found, Mike Tyson found himself a happy place, and I couldn't be more happier for the guy. With all the shit that he's been through in his life and all the people that have fucked him over, Don King, Robin Gibbons, the drugs, the streets, oh, he, at prison, he overcame it all, and he's, now he's an old man, and he found his happy place in life. And I'm proud of him for that. I respect him for that. So, so when I see this little piece of shit, Jake Paul, trying to abuse him, as a fucking old man, it, it makes me sick to my stomach. So for that, for those reasons that I just stated, I, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I hope he knocks the fuck out of him. I really do. And I just wanted to say this. God bless Mr. Mike Tyson. I hope he gets his fucking ass. And, 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 and God, God, bless, God bless his family. And, and, and I'm not one for these fucking stoop circus. Calls other than properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. I'm not, I'm not one for these stupid circus crossover fights, but I do have a great deal amount, amount of respect for Mr. Tyson. I wish him the best of luck during this fucking, uh, beating, with, beating this fucking jabroni's ass. So God bless champ. Go beat his ass. Hit the like and subscribe. And I'll, God bless you, everybody. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.